Well, uh, we're going to shift focus now to some news which is coming in. And this has got to do with the presidential elections in a way. In fact, ahead of the presidential elections, there have been posters which have been put up against the Chief Minister of West Bengal, Mamata Banerjee, calling her anti-tribal. And uh, this is being put up by the BJP across the state. It shows the NDA's presidential candidate, Draupadi Murbu, a tribal, and Prime Minister Modi. The Trinamool Congress has supported Yashwan Sinha for the presidential polls, and that is why she's been called anti-tribal. Shwagato Mukhopadhyay is now joining us. I'm going to wait for Shwagato Mukhopadhyay to join us from Kolkata. But uh, for now, there are two political parties, three actually. It's the Trinamool Congress and the Congress Party, the Ahmadmi Party, and of course the NCP who are supporting Yashwan Sinha. And this question is being asked of the West Bengal Chief Minister that if she being a woman and also considering there's a tribal population in West Bengal, why is it that she's not showing her support for Draupadi Murbo? Kamalika is with us uh, from Kolkata. Any response yet from the Trinamool Congress to this, Kamalika? Yeah, uh, Shukhindu Shekhar Roy, the Rajya Sabha MP, he has just reacted by saying that, you know, these are all tactics of BJP and uh, because on ground BJP can't win in Bengal. So they are trying to, uh, you know, show, they are trying to give a wrong campaign here uh, by, uh, you know, by portraying that uh, Trinamool Congress is anti, uh, uh, anti-tribal. But if you see it on record, that's what he's saying, and what work the Tulumul Congress government has done for the uh, for the Dalits, for the tribal peoples, that's totally different. And and more so, Mamta Banerjee herself has said that had she been known that Draupadi Murmu will be the candidate, then she would have thought otherwise. But since it's an opposition call which has been taken, and since the government has not spoken to the opposition parties, so now they have to go by the opposition party candidate. But it's absolutely a ploy of BJP. That's what the Trinamool Congress is saying. And also, the Trinamool Congress is putting this point that this won't have any effect anywhere in ground Bengal. Rashtrapati uh, present election, obviously, the numbers are there with BJP. Uh, so, obviously, the uh, and, and all, uh, this emotion of Draupadi Murmu, the Dalit candidate, is also there. But it won't have any effect in ground politics of Bengal. That's what the Trinamool Congress is saying. But these posters which are being put up, uh, do you think it's going to have any impact uh, on the Trinamool Congress? Uh, uh, um, you know, maybe they'll have to be some explaining to it they may want to do because she's a woman, she's also tribal. Uh, do you think there's a section of the Trinamool Congress, is there rather, Kamalika, who feel that perhaps they should have actually supported uh, Murmu? So that feel is there with the chief minister herself, with the party chief herself. So that feel is obviously down the party, you know, to the other people of the party, obviously. So um, that's there, obviously, that they feel that uh, if, uh, if the, uh, cent if the uh, BJP would have told them earlier, but that feel is uh, there. That cannot mm. be, uh, you know, that cannot be said it's not there. But at the same time, uh, the, the feel for the, the Trinamool Congress, let me tell you, Pallavi, before uh, 2021, very uh, after 2019, they have been working, uh, targeting the Dalit class in in Bengal. Okay. So they think in fact, Komalika, have... you were talking about yes. a reaction from the Trinamool Congress. Let's listen into the uh, reaction of the Trinamool Congress, and I'll come back to you. दाबी ये बात अफवाह फैला के वो ये एक अफवाह फैला के भ्रम तैयार करना चाहते हैं आदिवासियों की मन में कि तिरुमूल कांग्रेस के साथ मत जाओ लेकिन वो लोग आदिवासी लोग जानते हैं कि ममता बनर्जी का जकारम सूची प्रगति का जिसके कारण उनको पिछले दिनों से ज़्यादा प्रगति हुआ है वो ममता बनर्जी का नेतृत्व में ही काम करेगा और काम कर रहा है भविष्य में नहीं करेगा Okay, now Kamalika, we just heard what the Trinamool Congress had to say in his defense. But, you know, you were going on. I mean, you were talking about that there's a section who perhaps feels that Murmu would have been, politically speaking, a better cho choice. So that uh, Mamta Banerjee herself has said, and obviously what Mamta Banerjee sees in her party, that percolates down. So it's the thought of the entire party, not only Mamta Banerjee herself. But at the same time, 
since uh, Yashwan Sinha's name is there and since the opposition has uh, fielded in Yashwan Sinha as the candidate, so, uh, the, uh, so you, know, you know, there they can't say anything. But at the same time, the Supreme uh, Court government, they, uh, they are saying and they are putting this that they are not saying anything bad about Jhapati Murmu or the presidential candidate of BJP. Uh, rather, they themselves have worked a lot for the Dalits. And if you remember that uh, the National General Secretary of Trinamool Congress, Abhishek Banerjee, he has been saying that in terms in Ayodhya to, uh, you know, in this emblem inauguration thing, uh, everywhere it was not the president who was called, who is a Dalit. So, you know, they are also putting this point in front that Dorpati Murmu is nothing but a political weapon of BJP. So, uh, actually on ground, BJP is a party which does not think about the Dalit. That, you know, that uh, logic is also put forward by the Trinamul Congress. That is also very interesting. Okay. Thank you very much, Kamalika, for putting that into perspective. We're going to move on to the other top story, and this has got to do with the